Well, here I am. It appears to be holding. And of course, I'm, I'm sure they're like, what the heck is that guy doing? <laughs> uh, I don't see anything flying off. Yes, I'm, you're probably thinking, what an idiot. Just hire a professional. Thanks a lot, keep on watching. So, my father wanted to get rid of his full-size upright piano, and I did some research to see if anybody else transported a piano on their own <laughs> on a trailer, and I couldn't find anything. There's like a bunch of how to move the piano, but I didn't see anything that has to do with do it yourself. So, I decided to make my own. So, here I used a bunch of two by fours and some scrap OSBs that I had laying around the house and decking screws. And I built a brace because I'm going to have to transport the piano 12 to 15 miles on a freeway. The flatbed trailer I'm using is an old camping trailer or a tent trailer that got all moldy and so I just converted into a flatbed trailer instead by using 2x6 planks and bolted it to the frame. I decided to provide a support on the left side of the trailer because if I'm taking a right I could slow down but when I'm taking a left I have to keep up with the traffic. I needed something on the right side to make sure the piano doesn't tip over. Here you see the, the diagonal supports secured by using OSB scraps and doubled up cleats. And there's that one huge OSB board that will act as a rudder. <laughs> and that's it. And that little space is going to provide the area in which to place the piano to snug right up against and tie things down. So let's see if it works. Okay, this is it. Got it loaded up. Remember the little brace? Hopefully, uh, I'm going to have to take this on a freeway now. Uh, the speed limit, the minimum is 45. So, I'm going to go between 45. I'm going to go between 45 and 50. On a far right lane. Well, here I am. It appears to be holding. Uh... Of course, I'm going like 45 miles per hour and <laughs> everybody's passing me. I have to make sure that I keep plenty of space between the cars and I stuck my hand out the window to communicate with other drivers of my intent. People were very, very, very cooperative, very patient. Oh, my little truck, it's got only 2.4 liter four-cylinder engine. It doesn't have a very good top speed, but it sure does have a, a good low-end torque. Going downhill is always the most dangerous part because you don't know what's gonna happen. Ooh, like, like this guy. Ooh. Yeah, always, <laughs> always anticipate such unexpected uh, drivers. So we're almost home. So far, so good. Highly recommend. You should try it. Okay, it's a success. We're home. It's been pushed into the garage. I'll have to just unstrap, unload. <laughs> Easier said than done. And uh, there it is. We're going to move into the first floor. Everything's all good.